Good day everyone! Today, we are going to discuss all about the different ways of separating mixtures. Components of some mixtures can be separated. However, not all mixtures are easy to separate like sand and pebbles or rice with pieces of unmilled rice and small stones. You cannot simply pick salt out of sea water. If you were to separate a mixture composed of two solids, what method can you use? How will you separate salt from sea water? Different methods of separating mixtures are being used in laboratories. Separating mixtures are done to make substances more useful. Have you seen construction workers putting the gravel on a screen like on the picture? What are they doing? What do you think will happen to the gravel on the screen? Here are several ways of separating the components of mixtures. Manual separation technique or hand picking. Coarse mixtures like the pebbles and the sand can be easily separated by manual separation. Bigger components can be picked up. Manual separation is the method used for sorting different substances in coarse mixture. Toys of different sizes can be easily separated through hand picking. Eggs of different sizes can also be separated using manual separation or hand picking. But if the mixture is of a bigger volume, this can take a longer time. Use of magnet or magnetic separation A mixture of magnetic and non-magnetic materials can be separated by using magnets. When iron filings are mixed with sulfur powder in a dish, they form a mixture but they keep their original properties. The iron remains magnetic while sulfur stays non-magnetic. Looking at the mixture, it is pretty visible that the dark brown iron speckles the yellow powder. When a piece of magnet is placed over the mixture and move about, the iron fillings are attracted to the magnet, leaving the sulfur powder on the dish. Sheaving Sheaving is a method in which two or more components of different sizes are separated from a mixture on the basis of the difference in their sizes which uses a sheave. When a coarse mixture is for a bigger volume, a strainer like a fine mesh screen can be used. Construction workers use a fine mesh screen to separate stones from sand in a load of gravel. The tiny particles of sand pass through the small holes of the screen while the stones are left on the screen. Similarly, if you and your classmates are to bake a floppy cake in your livelihood education class, you need to see it that the flour is very fine and free from lumps. You will have to use a sheave to remove the lumps from the flour mixture. The fine particles of flour will pass through the fine holes of the sheave, leaving behind the particles that have clumped together. Filtration Solid and liquid components can be separated with the use of filter paper or filter cloth as a medium in which liquid passes through a filter paper leaving insoluble solid material in the medium. A mixture of liquid and tiny particles of solid which have not been dissolved can be separated through filtration. A filter paper is used to separate the suspended particles from the liquid. It has tiny pores that allow the liquid part of the mixture to pass through it. The solid particles that are left behind are called residue, while the liquid that passes through the filter paper is called the filtrate. A clean piece of cloth can also be used if filter paper is not available. A mixture of sand and water can be filtered using a clean cloth. Coconut milk can be separated from the remains of grated coconut 
To make water potable, filtration is also used. Water purifiers have filters that separate the dirt and the particles from the water. Evaporation This technique is used to separate the soluble solids from the solutions. When a salt solution is heated, water evaporates and salt remains in the container. The remaining residue is the solute. This also happens when patis or fish sauce is heated or left in an open container in a warm room. Grains of salt remain in the container as the liquid evaporates. Remember that in evaporation, only the solute is recovered, not the solvent. In the environment, many components of mixtures are separated by the evaporation process. When the sun hits the earth, water separates from other substances on earth and it becomes water vapor. Salt making makes use of evaporation to separate salt from sea water. Sea salt is formed from the natural evaporation of ocean water generally in man-made pools near a protected shoreline. In Las Piñas, for example, local fox make crack salt out of sea water. They extract the sea water from a nearby shore using wind pump and pump it to an open field. Then, they let the water evaporate through sun baking. What is left on the area is rock salt local term asin which they gather forming mounds of salt decantation and sedimentation mixtures with undissolved solutes can be separated by sedimentation and decantation the mixture is left untouched for some time and the solute is slowly settles at the bottom this is sedimentation after this the solvent can be slowly poured to another container without disturbing the settled particles to separate them completely. This transfer of liquid is called decantation. The solid that remains is called precipitate. This method can also be used in oil and water mixture. Since oil does not dissolve in water and is less dense, it stays on top. Gently pour oil from the glass and you can separate the oil from the water. Distillation Distillation is a method that can be used to separate two liquids with different boiling points. An example would be separating alcohol and water. A distillation apparatus, like one in the diagram below, is used to boil the two liquids. Alcohol has a lower boiling point, thus it boils faster and escapes the liquid mixture faster than water. Practical Uses of Distillation Have you ever thought of the practical uses of the different methods of separation of mixtures? They are not only meant to be studied. All the separation techniques have practical uses in our daily lives. Distillation has many uses. In fact, you may not be so aware, but many of the products we use every day are the results of distillation. Number 1. Distillation is widely used in laboratories. It is used regularly in chemical and pharmaceutical research and thus for quality of products. Number 2. Water purification uses distillation to remove impurities present in water from natural sources. Desalination plants use distillation to turn sea water into potable water. Distillation is employed in the manufacture of different kinds of alcoholic beverages, such as rum, whiskey, and brandy. Oil refineries uses distillation to separate petrol and diesel from crude oil. 
Distillation is used to extract the aromatic essential oils from various plants and herbs which are used to make perfumes. Natural food flavorings like citrus oils and liquid extracts from different herbs and spices are results of the use of steam distillation.